Okay, what it do though? Yeah. These are the tales. Hey, what it do though? We out here. These are the tales that I tell so well. Got the 420. So with all y'all, how y'all feeling though? Y'all ready to shit them out? Let's shit them out though. Oh, what up, love? I gotta start with this though, you feel me? I gotta share the space. You feel me? What up, son? Here we go. What up, Freddy? What up, though? Oh, shit, I've been busy, bro. It's sad to hear about Burner. I know, man. Keep on, Burner. We with you, bro. We with you, bro. Hey! What up, bro? What to do? What to do? What to do? Y'all from Menlo Park, man. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me get these blessings out the way real quick. Gotta clear the space up, you feel me? Man, tune in. Share the live, share the live, share the live, man. How you doing, bro? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just letting them know to share the live. You know what I mean? Go ahead and you know send it to a friend. You know what I'm saying? Don't hog this live to yourself, man. Pass exactly. It down. Share the live. How you doing, man? I ain't seen you since Los Angeles, if I'm not mistaken. I know, bro. Yeah, man. We, uh, what up, working, Freddy? Though. Yeah, man. I've been just working. doing my thing, you know, just trying to stay alive, stay stay healthy. You feel me? Stay keep right. going though, no matter what, because we don't stop no matter what. You feel me? Never, never. Hell I, yeah, I, bro. I felt How you doing? Joining, I felt bad joining the live. You know, what I'm saying at 420, and my blunt wasn't ready. So you know, what I'm saying if you see me taking a minute to give you know, me, go ahead, accept. You know, had to roll up a quick emergency. You oh, know, I already sport. know, bro. I was like, we ain't, our stoner asses ain't going to make a time. <laughs> hey, but we're here at the, more or less the time, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. I, mean, I tried not to get hella high before, because I'd be fucking up, like, to start the live and shit. Right, right. Now, it's all good, 420, you know what I'm saying? Everybody going yeah. a second or two late. Hell uh, yeah, <laughs> well, well, before we, before we just start smoking, let, let's tell the people, who are you, where are you from? And what do you do? And shout out to the Hook Dispensary. Yeah, shout out to the Hook, you know, Grow More and the whole family, you know what I mean? Hey, we're with Eddie. You think what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, stronger together. You did? So uh, my name is King Seidel, which rhymes with American Idol, and that's my title. You dig what I'm saying? I rap, I produce, and I'm born and raised in Menlo Park, California, which is Siamese twins with East Palo Alto. The only difference between Menlo Park and East Palo Alto one street. Shout out to you know Menlo I mean? Park and EPA. You know what I mean? The whole situation. You know what I mean? I'm trying Absolutely. to remember this. Um, you know, uh, real, real small city. We trying to turn the narrative around. You know, we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of bad history um, based on the notoriety that we received. But now we got football stars. We got rap stars. We got people uh, creating brands. We got chefs. You know, so East Palo Alto is trying to widen you know, the reputation, you know what I mean? So shout out to everybody in the whole city, Menlo Park and East Palo Alto. Hell yeah, but we kind of have the same thing, bro. It's like a lot of people, we have this thing where we're just far enough away from San Francisco and like the Bay Bay Bay, because I call it kind of the yeah. greater Bay Area, that yeah. we have we have enough room to be ourselves, but we're like a little bit too far away, you feel me? Right, But it's right. like we all, we all we, we, like in Santa Rosa, we always have this thing, are we the Bay or not? I consider us right. the great, greater Bay Area, but I would say that our representative is like Vallejo because they touch the water. You know what I mean? Like the Bay Bay. I think technically Santa Rosa is the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's the extension of the 707. And uh, you know what I mean? You know, y'all growing what we be blowing. Bay, bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, there always has to be a last city. You know, um, I mean, we still actually would say Sonoma County, right? So there's still Windsor and Hillsburg. But I mean, we're we're the major city in the North Bay. I mean, we're you know what I mean. But at the same time, like I got North Bay tattooed on us. I mean, we're the Bay, but it's just I would say the Greater Bay Area. You know what I mean? Because I think it's important for us to stay together and generally. Definitely, definitely, and you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of love in that whole area, man. The whole, you know what I mean, from Petaluma all the way up. You know what I mean? So, shout out to all them cities, man. You know what I mean? Uh, what Marin? All them cities, man. You know, yeah, what's that? Marin. Marin. 
That know, Red, Nevada, uh, Petaluma, Werner Park, Sebastopol, Rosa, Katati, Windsor, Sonoma, uh, yeah. Went, Hillsburg, yeah, all that shit. Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? Uh, just trying to, just try to uh, like I said, you know, rearrange uh, the narrative and, and try to change some of our reputation and, and be uh, become more known and more household when it comes to our entertainment side of things. Yeah, bro. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, motherfuckers are trying to, like... <laughs> Like, I want people to be proud of where they're from. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you don't have right. to fake the you don't have to fake the funk. You know, you should be. I'm proud to be from Santa Rosa. You know what I mean? I want to make sure that other people are proud to be from the same thing. You feel me? Right. Absolutely. And uh, you know, home is home. It, it, it's been a lot of dope ass events. I've been to some of the the best smoke events out there. You know what I mean? I mean, Emerald Cup is one of the best <laughs> weed events I've ever been to in my life. So the after party you, too. Oh, yeah. I missed a couple of those, but it was a couple I caught right there at the Flamingo. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Whether if it's Hall of Flowers, whether if it's Emerald Cup, you guys always held your cannabis events to a high standard, and I appreciate that. The whole industry appreciates that, and I hope they have an Emerald Cup this year, because I will be in the building. Yeah, man. I fucking hope so, too. I think they might be moving it, but we'll see. Fuck yeah, it. I've been, I, yeah, I've been hearing things, but, you know, that's why I'm speaking my piece, you know, hopefully. Yeah. You know, hope somebody ho sees it, you know. <laughs> hopefully, man. I fucking get sad, but Santa Rosa's getting, like, ghetto again, bro, like how it was when I was growing up, bro. That shit is right. fucking crazy, but, you know what I mean? It is what it is, but the weed's still good, though. <laughs> no, it's all good. We'll just have a roundtable discussion with Eddie, man. You know what I'm saying? We with Eddie, baby. You know what I'm saying? Eddie can make some changes, man. So whatever... <laughs> You know, he could un ghetto it, you know what I'm saying? But with that ghetto love, you know? <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, know? you, that's why I went all the way out for that fool. I fucking started talking hella shit because I was just going to be, I started just as a photographer, right, taking pictures of Eddie for his campaign pictures, you know, like, hey, I'm Eddie kind of pictures. And then the other side that was kind of, was started hating on him and they kind of was hating on me, like people. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to get in this motherfucker 100%. I told Eddie, hey, whatever I say, has nothing to do with you. I'm gonna do this for my, for my people. Like I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you, bro. But I'm doing this for what you represent. You know what I mean? Right. Be, and he right. Repre but to me, what he represents is it's okay to be yourself. Right. Right. And I I believe and, that we need to be in a space where we can be that. You know, be yourself with the flaws. And, and I seen that. I seen that you really got behind it. You know, a lot of people. Uh, you know, they get hired to do things, and that's it. They just get hired to do that job, and that's it. But you put a lot of passion into it. For the people that wasn't in the area, he was able to show them what it was like to be down with that movement, and it extended further than Santa Rosa. You know, in my opinion, I, I live in Menlo Park, and I'm telling everybody, I'm with Eddie. You dig what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, uh, but you know, I hope that helped. It got him in the office, and uh, you know, support like that is what's needed for music, uh, yeah. for entertainment, for the radio show you got. And you know, we need support out here. You know what I mean? So only oh. y'all can do you, 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 you. you, you, you. You can do it, you know. <laughs> hey, so the first time I saw your your well, I, first time I saw you just as a photographer was at that Gager event when we opened with Gold Toes and Burner. Oh, okay. And uh, okay. hey, get well soon, Burner. Everybody, show love to Burner. Man, man, man prayers crazy. to Burner. Prayers to Burner, man. You're gonna win. You're gonna beat that. You know what I mean? We're gonna fight with you. You know what I mean? And to everybody out there that's going through the same thing, we fighting with you too. You know what I mean? So. Uh, you yeah, know, ready uh, with them big blunts, bro. That motherfucker be having them blunts like this. Yeah, <laughs> well, man. This is all I need. Just a little joint. Hey, Freddie, man. Freddie be rolling the burritos, man. Him and DJ <laughs> Doc Boogie and the whole Alvarez Farm family. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I'm smoking on right now. I'm smoking on some of that Alvarez right now. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got my shit, yeah. but I want some. I want some of that purple. They got some new shit coming out. Purple. Oh in yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a little bit, we can even. Let, well, if, if if he's in here in a little bit, we can even let him get on for a little bit. But hey, before we do that, let me jump back into you, my boy. Tell me a little bit about how you jumped off the off the porch. You know what I mean? Because how I saw your music was that one song, uh, "Pussy," something about coochie, coochie something. But it was just so funny, but also so raw, and it had so much lyrics. So I was just wondering how. How did you jump off the porch with this from going just to being somebody like me that enjoys it and, you know, to somebody that does it? Just uh, originally I wanted to play basketball, you know. So growing up, you know, basketball was a real big influence. So I was playing that, hoping that I would be in the NBA one day. And then during high school, got kicked out of a couple schools and had to sit out and, 
So that kind of put everything on timeout. Even though the coaches wanted me to still get down, my heart wasn't quite in it. And in that time, uh, I was transitioning to, you know, reciting my brother's lyrics. My brother was a rapper. His name was Cool Breeze. He was in a group called Rated X. So I used to recite his lyrics. It used to be a little two-tape deck. You know, I don't know if you guys know what tapes are, but there's this thing called tapes. It's like a CD player or I don't know what, you know, Alexa, however you can do it. But it was, it was what we had, you know, at the time to play music on. And so I would put two tapes and record over, uh, you know, I would just overdub it, basically, and then I would go play my brother these tapes. And, uh, you know, it was kind of humorous, but at the same time, you know, he seen, he seen it was a, uh, it was, you know, he seen something, but, you know, he seen I wasn't quite serious yet. I was kind of having fun with it. But when it became serious was I was uh, doing some music with my cousin. His name was Tata Unexpected. Tata Unexpected. Uh, he was from my neighborhood, played basketball, and uh, he had a commercial for a company called Riker Center. And once I seen that commercial every week, I was like, boy. So I teamed up with him, went to the <laughs> lab with him, um, and we recorded two songs, you know, like two songs and first ever songs on uh, in the studio. And uh, they got a pretty good reception, so I let my brother hear those uh, recordings. And he took those recordings to Sean T, to Bay Area producer, legendary producer Sean T. And Hello. that, it just became, it became what, uh, what began my first album. And uh, the first album took like seven years to make. So uh, I was learning. I went from two songs to working on an album. So having to learn the process of promotion, learning how to get out there and, and, and network with people. I was doing that early before I had an album. I was meeting a lot of people early. So later on, you know what I mean? As I advanced, um, those relationships blossomed into other relationships. So a lot of people be wanting to know how I know so many, you know, famous people or big people. I've been networking with them since I was about 16 years old, just walking up to them, letting them know I do music. I ain't got an album out, but I do music. You know, is there a way I can contact you? And uh, yeah, so starting in early, you know what I mean? 14, you know, trying to just say to uh, my brother's raps, 15, 16, doing my first rap in the studio, 17, working on my first album, just to give you a timeline. Damn. And well, that's, so that's why I want to talk about networking. I believe that's a really big thing. And in the Bay Area, we actually do it overall really well. Um, really, I say that really well because, you know, I feel like we were, we, we actually had a lot more unity before, but it's okay. We're getting back to it. But you, like you and my, and, 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 uh, and my boy Chop, I feel like y'all really got that Bay Area spirit in the sense of being entrepreneurs, being hustlers, many lanes of income. Show, showing love, move, moving around, uh, like motherfuckers like to move, you know what I mean? So it's like, where did you get that understanding, you know what I mean, to do that? Because right. I'm the same way. I, like, like real, see real, I see what y'all are doing. Um, my brother always taught me to just give it my all. Like, it could be like two people in the audience would just go hard each time right. because those two people can – tell 20 people and those 20 people tell 100 people and you know the you know so you never know uh who's in the crowd watching so never know just, he, he always just just wanted me to perfect my craft and just you know just, just do it with passion and one day you know after years of doing it like that um uh, i go to a show i think it was a mountain house and i see this i see this mexican dude he He's on stage and he's by himself and the music is knocking and he's, I don't know who he is, but he's rocking it and he's controlling the mic and he kind of like, you know, I see myself in him, you know, I'm yeah. like, that dude raw. <laughs> and uh, we just kind of kept running into each other, you know what I mean? But that's what led me and drew me to Young Choppers because I seen, you know, I seen myself in him, you know what I mean? We don't rap the same, you know what I mean? We're we not the same person, but I seen the grind was real similar. But you guys compliment each other, you know what I mean? I and seen I, that. Yeah, I seen that. Bay Area, we can yeah. do. I feel like we do that well sometimes. Like we can compliment each other, you know what I mean? 
Right. Even, I even if we're different. Was, yeah, I said, I said, you know, we could we, let, let's see how this goes. And so, you know, it went from shady tales and then it became tacos and pupusas. But uh, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah that no, was it, and it was shit. crazy. I, I walked up to him, I was just like, man, we should do an album called Tacos and Pupusas. And everybody that heard it, they was laughing. Now, mind you, I didn't have it in my head or nothing. I just walked up to him. He had a pop up uh, where uh, close to where I live. And I was like, hey, what's up, man? We should do an album called Talking to Babooses because I'm half Salvadorian. He's Mexican. So, you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't even know that, bro. Now, people started laughing, but there was one dude that said, you know what? I never heard an album like that. That would be never sick. Heard you know what I mean? So we just stuck with it. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know you were, you were half Salvi? <laughs> Have a Salvadorian. Salvador. Oh, no wonder, bro. No wonder you got that motherfucking feistiness. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? You know, so we, 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 we real underdogs. You know what I'm saying? We grind from the bottom to the top. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, just, just my mother's struggle just to get here. You know what I mean? It just makes me just not want to waste, you know, her struggle to get to America. You know what I mean? Just, you know, erase that whole thing because it wasn't easy. You know, getting over here for, for a lot of my family. You know what I mean. So they got over here and they here, baby. You know what I mean. So now We're I need to building. represent that hard work of bloodline. You know what I mean. Years of hard work and dedication and sacrifice to get me here. And so I, I you know, I represent that in my music as well. You know, I put uh, that same yeah, focus, homie. that same intensity in my music. The reason I I get more excited, homie, is because my name, my real name is Salvador, and my mom's a revolutionary. My mom's a revolutionary, my boy, and I was born in 83, March in 83, and at that time, there was a war going on there, and so my parents were helping the refugees there, and uh, my mom was, my mom's a well-known, like, somebody that speaks, you know, in the community and stuff, and she was speaking to a crowd, her water broke. And so because her water broke when she was speaking for the people in El Salvador, she named me Salvador. And Salvador means the savior. The motherfucker, I ain't no captain saved, but I'm going to save my people, though. You feel me? Hey, man, that's dope. You know what I mean? That's dope. You know what I mean? So she had you, or go, went into labor, giving a speech. Exactly, exactly bro. Exactly, bro. <laughs> well, I, I, my mom was in labor, and I, she and I, she gave me she was at an Oxnard, and she was in labor, going hard, and and her water broke, and so, for the people in El Salvador, so she named me Salvador, homie. So I've always had that like tension, that power because of being born right into struggle, homie, right into people yelling, people screaming for their freedom. You feel me? Right, 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 hey, right, right. And if that month, if any of do knows. I don't even know how to say his name. Do Knows World is the fucking most funniest motherfucker on this planet. Shout out. He's, he's from No Jumper and all that shit. He got on No okay, Jumper. Okay, yeah, yeah. And big shout out to him because, like, I'm just proud that somebody at No Jumper saw the talent that that Bato has. Right. For sure. Man, you know what I mean? Well, you keep keep pushing. Tell him, oh. you know, if he in here, keep pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's still in here, but a shout out to the homie. That motherfucker go. Shout out. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's up dope. here. Yeah, bitch, I'm funny. Hey, shout out to that fool. <laughs> you up in here. I like, appreciate you. you. I just want, if you're still in here, bro, keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody fucking put you down or think anything. You fucking doing it. There we go, Latino nobody. shit. There he is. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I just want to let you know we see you, homie, all the way out here in the Bay Area, homie. We fucking with you, bro. We support you. Just keep doing what you're fucking doing and don't fucking give a fuck. Sorry, bro. Yep. I just to give the homie a shout out. Keep him talking. You know what I'm saying? He's that, he's that chubby nigga on uh, No Jumper, homie, with the Latino guy. He's okay. The Chicano guy on there. He's hella funny, though, bro. That's the thing. That hey, he's funny as fuck. Orale. <laughs> I didn't even make the connection that he was the vato that was going viral on some funny shit, so it's just good to see him that he came check in. I think I've seen though. something. I got I to gotta make sure it's him, but I think I've been seeing shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, people be sending me all kinds of crazy clips, all yeah, kinds no, of shady clips. No, nah, it's just because, like, no jumper, that shit inspired me, homie, to start my shit uh, all over again because I used to be on the radio, you feel me? But then I was like, I got off that shit because I couldn't be myself. And then when the pandemic right. happened, and remember when we could start going live together? You know what I right. mean? That was When that happened, right. I was like, oh, shit, I can go live. Right. I want your live show. And something told me, bro, <laughs> right. something told me not to fucking change my name. They were like, why don't you change it back to Pocho One Photography? Where I was like, nah, homie, because I think I got something. And boom. Pandemic hit, and now I'm just trying to put on, put my people on, basically, homie. And I feel like we make all these videos and shit showing how cool we are, but like a real conversation among men shows more to our audience than anything. Right. No, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it, it's all about just getting it done, man. And you getting it done, man. And, and I salute you and your grind, bro. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, but let's you get know. to let's get to some fun shit. Hey, bro, if you had to be okay. on an I island, one strain, bro, just one strain, what would you take? Shit, one for right the rest now, of your got, life. Right bro. now, I gotta say. Right now, I gotta no say. Politics lemon cherry. No, no politics either. No politics. Lemon cherry gelato. Lemon cherry gelato. I'll probably you know take me a pound of that, and I'll be cool. You know what I mean? Oh, Somebody man. will probably give me you know what I mean in a half pound mark. You know what I mean? They gonna smell it. They gonna smell it in the sky and just phew, come get me, man. You know what I mean? So I'll be good. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, yeah but Hey, put up your best shit in the in the in the comments. But but uh, was it Basho gelato, peanut butter? Hey, that peanut butter is good. But I I'm I'm a boring one. But the first time I was with a girl and she gave me some wedding cake. Man, mind you, what? bro, I fucking when I quit drinking, I quit smoking too. So I haven't what? smoked in a while. I'm just starting to smoke like a little. I'm like a little kid again, you know. And I've been right. smoking just a little bit, but right when I hit that wedding kick, I was like, "Ooh, ah. right." You know what I mean? Right. It, right. It, it, I feel like it de-virginized me. You know, like it, it took. It, right. I'm not. I'm not innocent no more. You know what I mean? Man, but I, I, I smoke all kind of weed. I love weed. It's just, I love it all. You know what I mean? I can't just get one flavor. I just, but you know, if I just had to say just one this today in 2021, you know what I mean? That's the one because I just went to Cabo, Red Mexico, and, and I made, I made sure I had some of that lemon cherry out there, baby. <laughs> Even though I lost some of my mota out there, I was so mad when I lost my motita out there. Oh hell! Ooh, man. you talking about a bad motherfucker on the island? <laughs> that, hey. uh, yeah. So yeah. Hey, but all right. On the other end, are there any real side effects? Like, be honest, anything that you feel like eh, I don't know about weed. My only thing is, the only um, thing is I'm a little paranoid now. I know I used to never get paranoid you, you, when I was younger. I think it's because I got light say, now. I say short term memory, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be I'll forget wallets. I done uh I done lost some shit, you know what I mean? You know, if I didn't have my head attached to my neck, I probably would have left that at the house a few times, you know what I mean? So but you know what I mean? So I don't know if to blame me or the mota for that, you know what I mean? So but if I'm uh, if, if, if I'm have to blame it on one or the other, I'm gonna say the weed make make me do shit like that, you know what I mean? But Well, I'll be that, holding my keys looking for my keys. On right. God, on God, on God. All right. Crazy, crazy weed story. Craziest weed story since we on the subject. Go for it. <laughs> uh, this is years ago. It's hot day. I had a uh, phone in one hand, old school Metro, ice cream in the other hand. I licked the fucking phone. That was for, <laughs> that's the highest... I, I, oh, I, no, I licked the phone, you know what oh, I mean? So, nah. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So I, you know, that was like, just a quick straight to the that to make sure that's what yeah, you yeah. Meant. <laughs> I got plenty of them. I got plenty of them, but that one just kind of stuck out right there. You know what I mean? So, you know, be careful when you smoke a lot of weed, you know, just try to make sure you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? You, well, know, when you're young, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So like, that was one of them days, you know what I mean? I'm an old motherfucker now. I mean, I'm not. My young got young spirit. I'm at heart. I'm a young bull, really. But but I like how I smoke though. I be, but now the hook had me right when I got back into smoking, bro. I met Eddie and Freddie Flo, and that shit fucking they spoiled the fuck out of me. I'm out here like I'm like a I'm like a little hyenita now. Like I gotta fucking humble myself. <laughs> there's so there's so much to do now. When I was growing up, it was just like a little bit of hash. That's, a, that's a, and some. And some resin that you scraped out your, your pipe like a motherfucking treasure chest. Right. Man, you know what I mean? So, you know. Have you ever just, scraped a pipe? Have I ever scraped a pipe? Uh, I've had days. I had, you know what I mean? I've Bro, had I days. I scraped pipe and loved it. I scraped shit and put it in. You know what I mean? So I scraped that pipe and loved it. Uh, I get hella high and scrape a big ass pipe, bro. And smoke for like two days off that shit. This is when I'm like 15, 16 years old. Right. That's you know what what I mean? Yeah. Now, at that time, I was still new. You know what I mean? When I was really kind of getting into the groove of it, well, I was about 18. Somebody told me to inhale. I wasn't inhaling. I was just smoking, but I wasn't inhaling. And I inhaled, and my and everything changed. You know what I mean? I went to Great America. I was fucked up. And uh, I remember, because we caught a flat on the way home. Our driver, you know, he was high as me, and his girl made him drive, and yeah, so... That was a bad one, but uh, 
Hey, tell them about the bring bring back the TJ streets. The homie said, "What's that?" If they don't know, bring back the TJ. Which one? Mm. You know what that is? Mm -mm. Oh, I thought that was maybe it's for me. I don't know. You never know. I left Chihuahua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left the Chihuahua at the restaurant along with my wallet and keys. Damn. <laughs> no, no, no. I done that too. You know what I mean? Shout out Benny Hannes and Concord. He did what I'm saying. Uh, but I wasn't high. I'm not gonna blame weed. You know what I mean? I thought I was being a nice guy. I left a cool little healthy tip. You know what I mean? I'm like, I come to Benny Hannes all the time. Boy. They said, uh, we don't see any wallets, but uh, if we see something, we'll call you back. They must have called me three hours later. They said, hey. Uh, hey, I look, it's, wallet, it's I don't think I would have. <laughs> I don't know about this. Hey, do you know what this pill. means? Two shady pills. Hey, check this out real quick, though. Ah, oh, shit. I just lost it. Forget it. My bad, girl. I just, my high ass just dropped the question. <laughs> She was talking about if, if there's some kind of, like, can you get, like, a little bit of an LSD high off of certain weed and shit? Like, if you've already done it or some shit. But anyway, I fucking forgot. That's some shit that I'd ask Freddie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Psychedelic tree. Hey. Yeah, nah. Yeah. After a while, you just learn to kind of balance it, you know. Hey, so tell, me, so tell me something I enjoy on your page, like you, you just brought up, is uh, Shady Tales. What's that? And shout out to my boy, Shot by Manzo. But... Shady Tales. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, what that? I mean, I kind of get it because I watch it, so I get it now. But like, you know, what yeah. I mean, explain somebody that never watched it. What a commitment, soldier. So, so the background to that story is, one day I was at Chop House, when in the beginning of us getting to know each other, you know what I'm saying? I come over there, we smoke a gang of blunts back to back. You know what I mean? So, uh, there was this one day I brought my keyboard to the studio. I mean, to his house. We I played hella beats, and he's like. After a while, it started getting late. We just smoked hella weed. He's like, man, you better, we, we got to pick at least one beat, at least one. So let's do something. So we started writing a song to this one beat, you know, and uh, we wrote it on the spot. We actually went live with it, you know what I mean? And uh, so the beat sounded similar to Two Short's Freaky Tales. Yeah. Shout out Two Short. And yeah. uh, you know what I mean? So. We just called it Shady Tales because, you know, Young Chop, Shady Mob, so. Yeah. Shady Tales. And, uh, <laughs> and then, so one day, so one day I took the song, I'm like, you know what, the song is already done, you know what I mean? So I was watching Snoop's page, right? And Snoop would post whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Snoop, right? I said, you know what, I... I I, I got a sense of humor. Let me, let me go ahead and see if I <laughs> yeah. can go fish up some, some footage. You know what I mean? Something, so, huh? I started fishing up footage, and every time I would fish up something crazy, I would put my Shady Tail song underneath the footage. Marketing. Until one day, Snoop Dogg, I see my shit on Snoop's page. Oh, I'm I like, saw oh, that. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? So, it, when was I that? Manifested it, huh? More or less, when was that? That was. 27, it was a couple years ago now. Like a couple years I, before I the know, pandemic. Exactly. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was definitely before the pandemic. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Um, and then, you know what I mean, got the vibe with him, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he, he liked the song so much, he had attempted to get on the remix. Uh -huh. um, but we didn't get it, we didn't get it in in time, you know what I'm saying? But. We definitely got work coming in the future. So shout out Big Snoop, you know what I'm saying? And his new album, Uncle Snoop. Algorithm, is on the way. You know what I mean? Algorithm. Huh. Algorithms, yeah. Yeah, man, so, I like how Snoop be fucking with people. Like, he be fucking with Fab and shit and putting his dope era shirts on. He, be, he wear that shit so much. He, like, like he's so popular, he don't got to wear it that much. You know what I mean? And he does. Right. Because you know I mean? the shit's nah, shit. They, yeah, nah, that's, up, the thing is, that's the thing. Snoop what up, show love, you know what I'm saying? As long as you putting in work, you never know who's watching, so just grind like nobody watching, and you'd be surprised who was watching. You know what I mean? So shout out to Snoop and the whole, the Hell whole yeah, camp, bro. You know I mean? Dad, like, everybody. Just like Goto said, man, it only takes one, man. It only takes one. Shout out to Goto. Right. Right. Shout out to Toes, man. So hey. and then another thing, another thing I want to shout out too is my other page, Gummy Alert. You know what I mean? I got a page called Gummy Alert. I put Me. it. In, I write it in the screen. If you can. yeah, Gummy Alert. Me and, my girl, <laughs> me and my girl, me and my girl, Chef Shell, you know I'm what I mean? Extraordinary, 
extraordinary chef. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. She, uh, yeah. me and her, we run in the page, man. So y'all want to see what's what we eating when we do these travels and I'm doing my shows and, and meet and greets. Tap in with the page, man. Go ahead and lock that in. Pin that, man. Hell yeah. All right, go ahead right and follow there. Gummy alert. alert page. You know what I mean? Support that, that and, shit. Yeah, Gummy Alert just came from uh, one time uh, the homie Willie Joe. I think he had, a, you know, he had a couple of homies list their five favorite candies, and I list mine. And when I told him what mine was, what, what are they? One of them, I said, one of them, I said was High Chew, and I high said, uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, why you, why you like High Chew? I was like, yeah, because it kind of got the gummy on it. You know what I mean? And then everybody started dying. So I was like. You know, with them gummies, you know. You know, you know, gummies, you know, people say food is smacking, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, yeah. gummy, you, you know, you got to chew on the gummy, you know what I mean? You got some high chew to it, you know. The so, fucked up part about that is, bro, when I was a kid, gummies, like the little gummy things were my favorite, dog. Those with the sour. So it's just like whenever I have anything connected to that, I'm like, that's why those edibles, bro, I just eat the whole shit, bro. I had a, these motherfuckers gave me a thousand, a thousand milligrams, and I just went to bed like a G, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ate that shit. Fuck it, it took the best nap of my sleep of my life. Bro, I'm, I still think about yeah. that nap, that nap, that sleep. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out with the edibles, man. You know what I mean? You, they be tasting so good sometimes, you don't, you don't even feel the creep. It's like, oh. And then you start thinking you about your life. Idea. You're like, what? <laughs> what are we doing here? Why am I here? What? Why? What? Who? Pocho? Yeah. What the fuck? Who was that? <laughs> exactly. Pocho lit. <laughs> yeah. That yeah nah, that so in a simple crazy. form, in a, in a simplest form, good and yummy means gummy. You know oh, what I mean? So. Oh yeah. Hey, so. Hey, Freddie asked to say, what, what was he? Asked? Oh yeah, about the peanut butter. <laughs> The peanut butter go crazy too. I done went to sleep a few nights off that peanut butter, you know. Oh yeah. All right, this is another. I've been sleep, I've been sleep on this studio couch right here off that peanut butter. So, you know what I mean? Good weed, you know what I mean? Good fun. weed and good vibes, you know what I mean? Shout out to Freddie, you know what I mean? He gonna go out there to L.A. represent and shout out to the sticker farmer. Oh, that you know I mean, his empire. That's... Sticker his farmer empire made this, bro. Growing. Man, his empire is growing. Hard work pays off. And uh, you know what I mean? The sleep won't eat. You feel me? So he out there getting it. And shout out to uh, the whole Grow More and the whole Alvarez team for going out there represent. See y'all when y'all get back, baby. Yeah, yeah. But for yeah, real. We, Stick, they, hey, Sticker smoking. Farmer made mine, bro. They And they made it hella easy, bro. It just took like two times back and forth. And and it's a very, like, this is all original shit that I created. Mali Nali means, uh, means grass in our Nahuatl language in our original language this is the original glyph on the now on, on the aztec calendar for grass and then god is from my daughter and my father be saying uh i smell grass he doesn't smoke no more but he's from the 70s you know he'd be saying we smell grass and shit and then the four directions are for all the people uh north south east west young old woman man and that and that we all come like and then i have three three plus four equals seven but also north and sud because when we smoke, we all come together as one people. Yeah, he went deep on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on, you know might, might as well do it. You feel me? He went, he went all the way to the bloodline. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, I come from that, though. You know, I live that life. You know what I mean? That's why I grow my hair out and shit. It's real for me. Right. Right. Hey, right. So real, hey can I ask a, a semi-personal semi question? Absolutely. All right. What is the importance of having a, woman, a good woman in your life? Balance, you know, uh, being able to see things sometimes you don't see, um, you know, uh, a partner, you know, in crime, you know what I mean? Understanding, you know what I mean? And uh, it just like, it's, you know, it just keeps the balance, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, a lot of people want to have fun, you know, they get paid, you know, but there's nobody saying, hey, slow down, you're spending too much or, you know what I mean? Somebody that's going to really, you know. Look out for your best interest. You know, a lot of people uh are going to want to string you along and do different things, but having a good woman by your side, it just maintains the balance of everything, you know what I mean? It makes you uh apply a stronger method to grinding, you know? Yeah, I asked, that, I, I, I asked that because I wouldn't just ask people that, but I ask charismatic people like you and, I, you know, and even me. Like, I I, I have the, when you have, act when when there are people that could have access because we are, who had it for some ever reason 
But we like say, but you decide to stand by because I saw how you guys just roll like real cool. You know, I was I, I never said nothing, but I, I I always watch everything. I'm a photographer, you know. So right. So uh, and I and I think it, the older I get, the more you know. As I get mature, I just I'm starting to see the power of that balance. You feel me? Um, and right. my, like people in my family, they're like good looking dudes, but once they have a lady, they don't cheat, bro. They they they, they man up. And so right. it's easy if you don't get if you don't get the attention of women. But I always look to men that I know that could get attention, but they choose to be with one solid one over a bunch of, you know, whatever. I don't right. want to hate on them either because I've been on the other end right. of those things too, you know. Yeah, but. No, everybody, everybody gonna find, you know, find uh, they happy space in, in due time. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, everybody does things according, you know, according to when they're ready. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I was blessed to come, come in, in hands and touch with a situation where, you know. I can receive that balance, you know. Uh, it's been dope. You know, it's like uh, when you understand each other, it's like a uh, unspoken. You know what I mean? Like you know, everything is in sync. You know what I mean? It's not like you know, you synergizing. Get yeah, you don't got to say nothing. It's just you know, in sync. That, you know, when it, when it's really a team effort. You know what I mean? Unspoken truth, unspoken love. Uh, you know? see, yeah, I knew I was gonna get a gem out that shit, right there. Yeah. I like that part. I didn't really think about that part where you like there is there's a lot of uh, eye contact and just knowing vibe and knowing each other already. Like once you're with somebody for a while, you know it's just deep, you know, and that's beautiful. Right, right. And I'm still learning. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm of course, learning. we all are. Shit is yeah. hard. I'm shit not perfect. Hard. Shit you know hard. what I mean? But you know, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to be uh, you know, it's, I am it's too, bro. A better me every day. You know. That's why I asked. I feel like the only way we're going to get to know shit is if we don't, we've got to ask, you feel me? You exactly. I mean? and, I, and I feel like that's what I want to bring out of these kind of conversations is just, I get to network, we get a little, little, little our homies to come kick it with us for a minute, and then get some yeah. gems and see what happens from it, you know what I mean? No, nah, it's all good, you know what I mean? Ask me, you know, whatever, what, what was the, you said something in your rap, wasn't that you that said something in your rap about the pandemic and we how we have to keep moving? Or even the yeah, pandemic yeah, couldn't stop about, us. Ah, you know I like yeah, your shit. Yeah, oh, right, 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 right. There was a lot of people said, that uh, night. I said, uh, there was a lot I of said, people that I night said, night uh, even pandemics can't stop people in California. <laughs> yeah, so you like, yeah, yeah. Hey. So that basically, that basically was just describing when the when the whole pandemic hit. Not that I disobey, you know, laws or nothing like that, but. It just—it was just impossible for me to believe that my whole life that I've been outside traveling, you know. I mean, I, I might have had curfews, you know, back when I was about fourteen. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, when you've grown and you've been outside, you know, <laughs> this whole time, you know what I mean? And then they tell you to go, yeah, what? No, you know what I mean? So I was outside. I was doing videos. <laughs> I was doing shows. Whatever show that I was able to do, I was just trying to maintain uh maintain that brand because I knew once things open, people awesome. uh are, are gonna be they're gonna be looking to what's going on, what's next, you know. So, you know, I you know I I, I just said, Yeah, I gotta grind through this whole thing, you know what I mean? So I, I was able to get a couple albums done. Um, I even traveled. I did a show in Oklahoma during the pandemic as well. So you know, it was just describing every Let's all go. the activity. It was just describing that whole, you know, me that whole time frame, that whole time period. And who knows? It, it might go back in the lockdown. I, don't ah, know. I hope not. But, I mean, it's getting a little better over here. Get, but, hey, hey, guess who won't? We talk, <laughs> well, hey, we talking about I everything. Won't go in the lockdown. <laughs> nah, hell no. I gotta stay off the porch. But I mean. I'm a type. I'm a type of person, bro. I'm hella social, but then I'm like a popular loser, homie. Like then I like to just be by to myself sometimes, you know. So some of the shit wasn't bad for me, you know. What I mean, I be social distancing like a motherfucker anyway. Right. <laughs> you know. Right. Sometimes hey, but, isolation is key, you know. Yeah, on awesome some monk shit. Rest and, and re refuel, re reboot, you know, reboot yourself, you know, and, and they come outside, refresh. Like, okay, he's back, he's ready, you know. Hey, but tell me why when I got my my, uh, my vaccine, I went straight over to Freddie, Freddie, just so he could feel it. Hey, I got the vaccine, dog, and Freddie thought that you could get it from, like, hey, can you still see me? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, there you are. Cool. Hey, Freddie, 
Like, cause I, you know, I mean, I'm a photographer and I, and I, the county is my client. So I was taking pictures of, you know, those health mm -hmm. healthcare workers when they were like, get the vaccine. I got it. Like, it was kind of scary actually, but, <laughs> but I was taking pictures of a homie and I knew my parents were going to take it. And then I was, I was joking with them. Like, I'm going to slide in one of them chairs. And they're like, well, there's three left, you know, because they can't keep them, bro. Once they bring them out. And then I was like, damn, shout out lazy. And then I was like, damn, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Because I, I believe on the laws of attraction on a, in a real way. And I believe, you right. know what I mean? And it came into my journey. And so then I fucking went for it. It didn't, bo it didn't bother me at all. I feel good. But, like, I'm the type of person, bro, I kick it with people that don't, like, we don't, might not agree on everything. I like that. You know what I mean? Like, like my boy, right. Freddie, like, we be, we're into conspiracies, but, like, we're always on the other end of them. Like, but I like fucking with him about it, you know? Because I like fucking with yeah. people that don't, uh, hey, I don't want to be with people that always agree the same way. You know, we got to have fucking, right. you know what I mean? That's what I was saying about you and Chop. Like, you guys compliment each other, even though you're different, you know, in your styles and shit. Yeah. And so, no, definitely. And so when I got the when I got the vaccine, I, he thought that you could get the vac, you could get it by if the person has the vaccine. And I went straight over to the to the hook after I got the vaccine just to rub up on him. <laughs> <It's fucked up. laughs> hey, oh, shit. hey, is everybody okay? How are you doing? Anything you want to say about this experience, your pandemic experience in general? Though, like, are you cool? Man, pandemic has you know been cool, man. You know, just been maintaining distance, you know, but you know. I definitely be wanting to be around human interaction, you know. Me what too, I mean? dog. So when it, it's certain it's certain events that I can't miss, you know. But I can't go to every event as well, you know what I mean. So, uh, you know, but uh, you know, I got some shows on the way Bring coming up. So, I yeah, we, we say, I'm about outside, to grab some fire at the hook right now. Yeah, hey, we, hey, we, we, me and me and Freddie smoked the whole time, baby. Hey, you know Freddie, I mean? hey, we still smoke <laughs> together. No, Boozle, check it out, homie. This is a weird story. So I never seen the fucking farms. Their fucking farms are like other fucking paradise, dog. Like I don't like, even want to say everything on there, but like they got everything over there, man. It's just so tight. And uh, man. I was like on the way up. Yeah, hey, I'm like one of them fools. I didn't smoke after nobody. Like I've always been kind of like a germ motherfucker, dog. Like I don't like taking shits in public. I don't like if, if I see something on your lip, man. I, ain't, I ain't, like I'll, I I be checking motherfuckers. Yeah. I just yeah. be on some clean shit, bro. I don't know. And yeah. so I wasn't smoking, but we were going up there, bro. And they had the bomb, you know that shit. And then I just broke down, said fuck it, pass that shit. You know what I mean? If we if I get it, I get it with you fools. We getting it together, you know what I mean? We got to be blood, like like you know back in the day when they do blood blood brothers, when they you know how you would cut yourself a little. And I don't even think I ever did that shit, but um, it was like smoking brothers, you know. Like I decided in the first right. in the beginning of the pandemic, you decide who like who's worthy, and I like picked a certain amount of people I was gonna smoke with, you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> but uh, shit. Yeah, well, they definitely, they definitely was the chosen few, you know what I mean. So we was all in the good, clean circle, you know. So yeah, you know, we're gonna keep it that way. They didn't, they didn't get, they didn't get. I didn't get it from. I didn't get. I never got COVID yet, so you know what I mean. It is what it yeah, is. No, yeah. How I, how no, I definitely. see it, bro, is everybody has the right to do what the fuck what they want with their bodies. I got that vaccine, but that doesn't mean if you don't got it, I'll still. You know what I mean. I'm just not willing to like force people to do that, and I think it's counterproductive. I don't think it's in. It, I think I think it's counterproductive to try to force human beings to do anything. We're free spirits. No. Bro. That's why I'm single right now, homies, because Hainas always try to force me to be, you know, some kind of dude, like some kind of square, homie. I'm a motherfucking G, baby. You know what I mean? Right. I'm a fucking right. star, baby. Like you know what I mean? You gotta know. You gotta see me. Come baby. on, man. You feel me? Like they, they gotta can't see respect me. it. They gotta move on. You yeah. Know? If you can't you feel know? me, you gotta smell me, motherfucker. You feel me? So. Period. So Period. yeah. So I just don't like. Like, do you agree that, like, I don't think that they should make people have to have the passports and all that shit. I don't agree, you know what I mean? But that's my opinion, you know what I mean? I just don't. But I also don't agree with the separation of thoughts. And, and it's kind of like creating two two gangs almost. It's yeah. like vax versus non-vax, you know what I mean? And, and you know, I, I, I don't, I don't uh, disrespect nobody that got it. And I'm not here to argue. It already didn't happen, you know yep. what I mean? Exactly. Um, I just haven't got. I just haven't got mine yet. Just don't look at me crazy because I haven't got mine yet. You know well, what I mean? Like, I can't say you know. Let, let, you know, uh, you know, just because everybody, you know, jumped off the, the high dive of the pool. You know, I'm not. I, I'm at. The, I'm at the, the, the end. Like, oh, oh I jumped know? off, bro. Hey, I jumped off. <laughs> anyway, I jumped off like with there's nothing, bro. I jumped off right in the beginning. Yeah, but, I fucked up. 
Yeah, but no, no, no separation, man. For the people that don't, you know, that don't got it, that do, you know, whatever. Just everybody, just stop, stop. Uh, Freedom of choice. Separating over this whole thing, man. Yeah, you we gotta come I mean? together. Did you see that meme, bro? We come it's together, in. man. You know what I mean? Come together, man. Freedom of choice, like my man Jesse said. You dig what I'm saying? So allow people freedom of choice. And Freddie. Right now, right now, people ain't got no choice. You know, they 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 mandating it. You know, and so that shit is crazy. You know, the people that gotta get it, I I feel you. I just pray. You know, I pray. You know what I mean? It's healthy and nothing. You know, nothing but but good things happen and. You know what I mean, and we all can maintain good health and good wealth because health is wealth. So, hey, but you know what also bothers me is that like why they push all this? They never push like, like eat healthier, you know, run like get what? What if they gave everybody free gym workouts, you know, or gym memberships? You know what I mean? Like they don't they don't push nothing for us to build our immune systems. You know what I mean? They're just because no. it's all about uh, making money. You know, they don't want to cure nothing, bro. They just want to make you stay with them. You know what I mean? Stay addicted to that shit. So that's the problem. Like just because I took the vaccine doesn't mean like also because I I don't I'm not down with the vaccine. I thought I was gonna be like the vato in the summer to do it. You know, but it came my way. Right. I, I do believe in the laws of attraction, and I do believe that some vaccines have made our lives live longer because like we don't deal with certain diseases that we used to. But I also at the same time. They've experimented on our people, bro, on so many different times that it, you have to acknowledge both that some vaccines are good and that some of they really have done this dirty, 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 dirty shit to our people. And so everybody has the right to not want that or not be, you know, not participate in whatever they don't want to participate in. They should not have to fucking be forced. Or at least have the, the, the right to question it, you know, yeah, what I mean? and not look you know, that bad. Right, you know what I mean. So you know, for for people that question it, uh, and for people that don't question it, and you know, is is, is accepting of it, um, it shouldn't be no separation caused because of it. You know, it's like it's, yeah. it's people that's not even talking right now because they don't believe in the vax. You know what I mean? Versus you know the people that have gotten vax. You know, oh, you know, don't don't invite such and such. You know, so it shouldn't be like that. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know it's a mean? weird you world. Know, they not. If they're not coughing, if you're feeling good, if you're feeling, you know, okay, cool. You know, just, you know, you don't have to share blunts. I can respect not sharing blunts and stuff like that, but. Uh, I do that to the vaccine, to the though, bro. I was sharing like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, though, because I can still have the, uh, I can still have it, bro. I can still give it, it to somebody. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so it's real. We, we all just got to pray. We got to just pray. You know what I mean? And rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives. Fuck to it. yeah. So, you know, I, I'm not definitely taking it for granted or nothing like that. I just, you know, just been maintaining and, you know, knocking on wood. Hopefully, you know, I could never uh, have to deal with it. And, uh, you know, you guys be safe out there, man. You know what I mean? And, you know, hopefully everything, uh, Hopefully everybody is is in good health, man, so we can continue doing these shows, man, because all this Rona is hard for me to bend the corner. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You know, we got to stay healthy so we can go come out here and do these shows for y'all. And, you know, all these mandates is kind of slowing things down a little bit. But, hey, we coming to your city real soon. Hey, uh, tell me real quick before we wrap up, because I'm having so much fun forgetting how much time we have left. But, hey, just – It's all it yeah, basically, tell me a little bit about the cipher. How you like that? I feel like we had this cipher in LA. Nobody got hurt. No, no drama. We fucking vibe. We're in the studio. And then just any shout outs and fucking anything you're doing, bro. Just end end with that little vibe. Man, I'm on the plane getting ready to go to Oklahoma, and Toes called me. He was like, "Hey, I got the cyphers in LA. You down to do it?" I'm like, "I'm down. Let's do it." Did it. You know what I mean? And uh, I didn't know who was gonna be on the track. But going out there, seeing everybody, seeing how many people that grinded to get there, just like I did, it was just dope being a part of something, uh, something like that. Especially in the city of L.A., you know what I mean? I got a lot of love for L.A., and uh, it was dope that we was able to do it, especially in that area, get the whole backdrop, yeah. all the artists, you know what I mean, represented for their cities, and uh, it was dope. We even got a track in it the following day. So shout out to Gold Toes and GT Digital. You know what I'm saying? We went on ahead and knocked one out. I forget, you know what I mean? Uh, the homie Legend, me and Legend. Yeah, hey, that's what will go. I got him coming yeah, out next me, week. Yeah, me and Legend. Yeah. 
So shout out to Legend and everybody out there in Bakersfield, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The whole up. Southern California. You feel me? Yeah, we got to bring this whole California card tonight. Oh, hey, and real quick, man. What's up with the game tonight? You watching it or you're not into it? I'm going to check it out. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm open-minded. You know what I'm saying? Whoever wins, the best man wins. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you I know. Mean, I'm not as open-minded, but I am. Like, I'm actually a Dodgers fan as well. Not a fan, a supporter, but because I lived in L.A. for 15 years, bro. You can't live in that city and not honor them. Plus, Valenzuela was this really popular pitcher when I was growing up. And I just think, I don't know about the Padres. I, should, I guess I should show love, but it's like even the A's, bro. I always, like, I'm a Giants fan, bro, a Giants supporter, but... If, if if after them, if the A's are playing, I'm going to support them. If the Dodgers are playing, yeah. we, we got to support our, our state at least, bro, you know? So, you know, like, definitely, I want the Giants to win, oh. but if the Dodgers are win, I'm going to salute them humbly, even though I've been joking around, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I fucks with the Niners, you know what I'm saying? Bang, 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 Niner game, but, you bang, know, bang. I've never been a Raider. I've never been a Raider hater, though, ever. Me neither, me you neither. I, mean? I joke so, around, though. I do joke with them just for yeah. fun. Because they're know. sensitive. They sensitive as fuck. Yeah, you know. But, you know, much love to the Raiders, the Niners, you know what I'm saying? And all the college teams in the Bay Area, everybody in Northern California, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. And, uh, you know, like I say, health is wealth, man. You know what I'm saying? Go take your vitamins. Go drink that orange juice, man. You know what I'm saying? Go do some running. Take your, you, you know, walk a couple miles. You know what I mean? Let's, let's get that heart rate going, you know what I mean? Health is wealth. I need everybody around so we can do the show and keep it lit. Yeah. And thank you for having me on here, family. What for game? Sure. Uh, who are you rooting for tonight? I'm a gigante, homie. Go check I, it out. I'm a gigante. I got to do that all day, bro. That's why I was raised. You know, Will Clark. I mean, I grew See? up on the motherfucking. I'm a straight giant, bro. We're giants. I'm a giant in life. I'm a giant. Not like physically, but mentally. You know, in my mind. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I got right. a giant spirit, giant, baby. Man. I got a giant fucking attitude. You feel me? So I just got to go with them. But I want to hope they smack the fuck out of the Dodgers. But if they don't and the Dodgers smack the fuck out of the Giants, I'm going to go for I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to root for the Dodgers, bro. You got to stand behind them. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know? Hell yeah, yeah. Man, man, you know. Hey, shout out to Lifted sure. Farms and Cookies too, man. They be fucking with y'all. Man, if it ain't lifted, it ain't gifted. Shout out to Lifted. You know what I mean? Shout out to Hemp Hop Station, Gummy Alert. Uh, shout out to uh, you know what I mean, Ruler Squad, Block Movement. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. you know what I mean. Everybody, man. You know what I mean? Everybody so, in Northern California. And uh, you know what I mean? Check out for my new project. I got a couple of them on the way. I don't even know the name of them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be dropping a series of projects. The next one that's coming out is called um, Half on a Nina. Me and Mac Toe. Okay. You know what I mean? We, it's called Half on a Nina because we went half on nine songs. So, nice. you know, no, you know we, we didn't do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? All legal. All good music. Um, and me and my uh, my brother B Jada, we dropped a project called One of Them Ones. You know what I mean? Slaps. Uh, me and Young Chop, we're getting ready to do a Tacos and Papusas Part Two. You what heard you it here first. Weed Store Remix. Weed Store Remix. What up, girl? Come on, come on. You know, you know what we do. Let's get to work. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. we'll get that in motion. You know what I mean? So it's just a lot, a lot, a lot of things coming up, you know, soundtrack appearances. And, uh, you know, a lot of people been seeing me doing a lot of guest appearances right now. I'm about to do a series of solo songs. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do some solo projects. So it's coming, man. We're about to be working all winter, man. So it's coming, Pocho. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready back for Back to it. back. I'm yeah. Right here, though. camera. Like, look at my camera is always close to me, homie. I stay ready. <laughs> well, fuck, I used to have a strap. Now I got a front fucking camera. I never thought, homie, exactly. I used to have a strap and now I got a camera. Who would have thought? Yeah. With a Not degree, definitely. motherfucker. With a master's degree for you. That's how I That's how I pop my collar. I don't got to show guns yeah. and, and drugs and shit. I pop my collar with these degrees. Yeah, and just show your vision instead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those dope pictures. You feel me? So hey, it's dope people, know, bro. So. Dope people. I'm just the bridge. Yeah. You feel me? I'm just the middle man. Come on, man. And we're gonna keep building bridges, man. You All right, bro. Mean? So appreciate well, you for stopping by. Everybody, me. follow my boy King Sido. He's right here, tagged. 
I'm gonna support if you're if you're on your side, follow me. I'm, I follow back anybody that's really doing something. If you guys got inspirational stories, you don't gotta just be like a rap artist. You can be just a regular person, bro, with a dope story. We all got a story. So hit me in the DM. I'm booking into next month. But uh, show love to my boy right here, and he got a bunch of projects going. And you can find them all in his description as well. Oh, right. last but not least, this weekend, you know what I mean? This Saturday, I'm going to be in 7, 795 Fifth Avenue, Redwood City. I'm doing a pop-up. I got these Ruler Squad shirts, you know what I mean? We got Hella Squad. Extra. We got Chef Chill. She's going to have the Eddie Buzz. You see what I'm saying? And uh, just come through, man. We're going to have a good time. The last pop-up of the year over there. You dig what I'm saying? So it's at Mobile Gas Station. You dig what I'm saying? My homie owned the shop. So go in there and get you a shirt, get you something to drink. You know what I mean? And uh, we're just going to have a good time from 12 to 420. For sure, Shout out to Paul Man for having me on the live podcast. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, what's, the show? what's the show called again? It's Fulcher, the Vulture Live Show presents the Trap Cast because I feel like I'm trapping the these trap interviews. Trap Cast. Because I feel like I'm trapping cast. these interviews in the pandemic. You feel me? I was about to say the Smoke Cast. You know what I mean? Hey, it's we whatever cast the whole is. time. You know what I mean? A, it was a Smoke Cast <laughs> today. I, I couldn't smoke another one, but it was too high. <laughs> it's all good, man. And shout out to everybody that tuned in. You know what I mean? A hook, what everybody. About this thing, man. Appreciate. Appreciate you for having me on the show, my good brother. All right, bro. Have a good night, and viva los gigantes.